Welcome to Foray and thank you for choosing us. Today, we'll show you how to create a CG wipe using your HVS 100 and HVS 110. Before we begin, please make sure that when creating a Targa sequence, to save the files as a 32-bit or else the alpha channel will not appear. First, we'll need to begin by loading your Targa sequence into your switcher via FTP. Here, we'll use a freeware software called FileZilla. First, we need to ensure that the FileZilla does one file at a time for file transfers. So please go to Edit Settings. Click on Transfers and under Maximum Simultaneous Transfer, please set it to 1. Now simply enter your main unit's IP address. The factory IP address is 192.168.0.10. The username is HVS100 and password is 4A. If you're having trouble accessing your switcher via FTP, Please check out our tutorial on how to access your web GUI. Now simply select all of your Targa files and drag and drop them into the Clip 1 or the Clip 2 folder. In this tutorial, we'll copy these files to the Clip 1 folder. Just simply wait until all the files have successfully transferred into your HVS 100. After your Targa sequence has finished transferring, we'll need to configure your keyer for the CG wipe. Please use whichever keyer that isn't in use. So for us, we'll use key 1. Let's begin by double pressing the key 1 button to bring up the menu. Please turn your F1 dial knob to select insert slash source and press down on the F1 dial knob to enter the insert source menu. In the insert source menu, please turn your F1 dial knob to set the type to bus. Then turn your F2 dial knob to set insert to steal one, and turn your F3 dial knob to source to steal one key. Next, we need to configure our steals settings so that it plays a video clip and not a picture. In your numeric keypad section, please press the steal button, which is also the number seven button. In the steal menu, please turn your F1 dial knob to set your steal one to clip. If you're using Steel 2, then please set it to Clip. Now we need to configure the CG Wipe setting. In your numeric keypad, please press the Wipe button. This is also the number 0 button. Please turn your F1 dial knob to select CG Wipe and press down on the F1 dial knob to enter the CG Wipe menu. In the following CG Wipe menu, please turn your F1 dial knob to set Enable to On and turn your F2 dial knob to set CG to Steel 1. If you're using Steel 2 to store your CG wipe, then please set it to Steel 2. Duration is the maximum number of frames for your duration of your CG wipe. So if you loaded 60 Targa files, then you'll see 60 frames. Please press on the Page Down button to go to page 2 of your menu. Please turn your F1 dial knob to set select to key 1. If you're using your key 2 to do your CG wipe, then please set it to key 2. Then turn your F2 dial knob to set delay to 0. Please press the page down button to go to page 3 of this menu. Please turn the F1 dial knob to set the delay of your CG wipe if it needs one. Turning the F2 dial knob will adjust the rate of your CG wipe in frames. Turning the F3 dial knob will turn your FDR link to on or off. If on, it will enable your fader or T-bar to execute the CG wipe. Your auto button next to the cut button also executes the CG wipe as well. To the left of your fader or T-bar, you will see a small section named transition type. By factory settings, it's set to mix. Please press the wipe button and once activated, it will turn amber. Please turn your F1 dial knob to adjust the rate of your CG wipe. It's usually left at number of frames that were loaded into your switcher. Please turn your F4 dial knob to select how you want your CG wipe to occur. Do you want it to wipe from left to right, from the center, etc.? 
In our demo, we'll set it to CM200, which will make it mix the previous and program together. Now, when you press the Auto button located next to your Cut button, it will execute your CG wipe. At this point, you can go back to adjust the delay in your CG wipe if you need them. In order to have your switcher save and load your CG wipe or stills that you have loaded into your switcher each time you turn it off and on, please insert a USB drive into the front of your HVS's main unit or next to your LCD screen of your HVS 110. This USB drive must be 32 gigabytes or less and is formatted as a FAT32 format. Then, in your numeric keypad, please press the steel button, which is also the number seven button. Now press the page down button to go to page two. In this menu, please turn your F1 dial knob to set still to still one. If you saved your clip to clip two, then please set this to clip two. For our example, we uploaded our clip to clip one. So we'll set this to steal one. Then turn your F2 dial knob to set function to save. Then turn your F3 dial knob to set memory to mem1. And turn your F4 dial knob to set resume to backup. Backup means that your switcher will create the folder and files in your USB drive. Now, press the F2 dial knob and you will see status bar appear displaying the progress of your backup procedure. After your switcher has completed its backup process, please press the page down button to go to page three. In this menu, please turn your F1 dial knob to set still to clip one. If you stored your CG wipe in clip two, then please turn it to clip two. In this tutorial, we'll set it to clip one. Then turn the F2 dial knob to set function to load and turn the F3 dial knob to set backup to on. Now to save our switcher's current setup for saving your CG wipe and loading them on each power cycle, we'll need to do a soft reboot. So in your numeric keypad, please press the setup slash attach button. In the setup menu, please turn your F1 dial knob to select system and press down on the F1 dial knob to enter its menu. In the system sub menu, please turn your F1 dial knob to select reboot and press down on the F1 dial knob to execute this command. When prompt to reboot in your numeric keypad, please press the store slash enter button to confirm. Your switcher's main unit will do a soft reboot. After your switcher has rebooted up again, depending on how many files were uploaded to the switcher, please allow it a few minutes to load all of these files again. Now, when we press the auto button, it will run our CG wipe. Well, this concludes our tutorial. If you have any questions or would like to request a video tutorial, please email us at support at 4-a.com. Thank you for watching our tutorial and have a safe and pleasant production.